Greetings, family. It's your boy, the minister, the reverend, Jonathan R. Whitfield, coming back at you once again with another video. J. Whitfield Inspires, that's what I call myself. Yes, as you can see, I'm outside today in this beautiful Atlanta weather, the fall Atlanta weather. Uh, it feels good today. Sometimes you gotta get outside and just be in the elements, and I love it. Virgo here. Also, I have a new way to, uh, for you guys to book a private session with me if you need to speak to me personally about your personal situation on a private level. You can book the time with me by clicking the link in the description. It's gonna take you to the website and you just choose the time that's most convenient for you. Click it and it's all done. It's very simple, more efficient. So you need to book a private session with me, click the link. Also, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So today, I wanna talk about something. I wanna talk about, uh, the best way to be with a Virgo man, the, the best way, the most efficient way to be with a Virgo man is things you need to do and understand. I've been getting a lot of questions in the private sessions and emails and, and things like that about how I be with this guy. He's kind of complicated, this and that. So I'm going to let y'all know. The best way is to be with a Virgo man. Now, I'm, I'm doing this on my phone. My laptop is in the shop, so this may be a little raw and unedited. So the, the, the audio may be a little janky, but y'all y'all work with me, okay? Let's make it happen. So the first way, the best way, one of the first ways that you need to know to be with Virgo man is uh, that you need to listen to him, right? I said this in, a, in another video, but sometimes I have to, uh, sometimes I have to um, reiterate these, these things. So, but I want to break it down a little more. Listen to him. Y'all hear me say this many times. A lot of times, women do not listen to them, right? You over talk him. You don't let him get his thoughts out. And you're coming at him kind of negatively and he's trying to tell you what's going on he's trying to tell you what's on his mind but you're not listening you know you're ready to respond as soon as he says something that comes out of his mouth you know you're jumping down his throat as soon as he get in the house you you you're going in you're not you're not hearing what he has to say or or why you know so you need to listen to him let him talk let him get his thoughts out because virgos move slowly we process things slowly right we're not going to just be blabbing off at the mouth. We take time and let things process in our heart, process in our minds from a day, from a relationship, from whatever we have going on. And we would love to tell you, but sometimes we feel like, ladies, you don't listen. You know, because you feel like, some lady, you feel like you know it all, you feel like you know everything. And you feel like if, if, if you feel like you don't have to listen to a man, you know, and, and some, some women, not all, but you know, you need to listen to him so you can understand him. How are you gonna understand him if you don't listen to him? Whatever he may have going on, because he's trying to tell you things, right? And you may not be receiving it because you're not listening. You have a, already you have a, a protective order over you that you're not gonna listen because what you are saying is right. You know, that's not, that's not how it's just, you, you're gonna lose this man very quickly if you don't listen to him. So ladies, please, please, please listen to him more. Y'all heard me say it in other videos, Erica Badu said, somebody asked Erica Badu, What's her secret to dating all these great men and these celebrities? Why do they seem so changed after um, they date her? She said her secret, her superpower to men is she listens to them, right? She listens to them. So y'all think about that. Listen to your man. You know what I'm saying? Let him express himself. Let him talk. Whatever he got to do, just listen to him. The next thing is, and I kind of said this in another video, you need to understand him, right? He's speaking to you. A lot of times Virgos don't, we don't communicate like other men communicate, right? We communicate, we communicate through body language, through our energy, through physical activity and physical activity as far as like things that we do for you, you know? That's how Virgo men communicate. So you need to listen to him as far as understanding him and seeing what he does for you. A lot of times he's gonna tell you how he feels about you just by the things that he does for you, you know? Pay attention to him and understand, okay, I see what he's doing. He might not be saying this, but he's showing me, right? And then you you might come at him and be like, oh, you're not doing this, you're not telling me this. But he's like, what you mean? I'm showing you every day that I, I love you. You know, I'm showing you every day through my actions. And now you're saying I'm not loving you. I feel offended. This is how Virgo's men operate. So you gotta understand that people operate differently. People communicate differently, you know? So understand him, understand his background, understand what he's been through in life, understand his family dynamic, understand what his, what his fears are, understand why he's ghosting you, understand why he's not talking, right? This is how you be with him. When, when he start to see that you listening to him, and you're understanding him, he'll start to talk more. He'll start to do more things for you. He'll start to tell you how he feels about you because he, he sees now, oh, she's very receptive to me. She pays attention. 
you know? She's doing these things. Also, the next thing you need to do, um, best way to be good with Virgo man, be with Virgo man, is y'all got to talk. Talk and communicate. And I know a lot of ladies say, well, he don't talk. He don't say nothing. He don't communicate with me. I understand. He's kind of waiting on you. This is how Virgo men operate. It's going to take a while for him to start opening up. It ain't just you. It's everybody. He he don't open up to nobody like that. So, you know, so what I mean by talk and communicate, just start to talk to him. Ask him about things he has going on. Ask him about his passions, you know. And give him time to to um, trust you, and he will open up about it, about those things you ask him. Don't be like, what you got going on? Why you don't ever tell me? Tell me, tell me, tell me. What do you feel? What do you feel? What do you feel? This is the wrong way to do it, you know. Just sit down, calmly talk to him. Hey, man, what's, what's, what's on your mind? Like, what's, what are some of your fears? What are some of your things that you want to do? And like, what are your goals? What are your dreams? You know, things like that. Just talk to him. Get to know him. You know, this is the next thing. I said talk and communicate. I'm kind of running kind of fast, right? Because I'm out here getting cold. But it does feel good. Um, get to know him. This is the best way to get, this is the best way to be a rogue man is to get to know him. How do you get to know him? Be around him. Y'all hear me say all the time that the best way, one of the best ways to be a Virgo man is to be his friend first. So by being his friend, you get to know him, right? And you get to know him by y'all going out, you're doing things, you're talking, you're just chilling. Virgos love companionship. Virgo men love companionship. We love friends, but we don't have a lot of friends because we don't trust nobody. But, you know, get to know this brother, you know, ask him what's on his mind. Tell him what's on your mind. Ask him about Anything he has going on, whatever he has interest in, you take interest in it. And he will open up like a Christmas tree, like a, he'll light up like a Christmas tree, you know, because he's like, okay, oh, I'll talk to him, communicate, because this is an intellectual brother, okay? Virgo men are very smart, and they take intellectual stimulation to get to know them, right? So don't be no dumb chick, you know? Be smart, have a great conversation. He will open up to you. Slow down, take your time with him. And he will open up to you. Don't rush things. He don't like to be rushed. He don't like to be made do things. I'm just trying to give y'all tips and, you know, little secrets to, to get to know him. To be with, These are the best ways to be with him. Get to know him. Slow down. You, it's, he ain't going nowhere. You, you don't have to have a relationship in three weeks. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be okay. You know, slow down. Get to know this brother. Don't rush him to a relationship. And he will naturally open up to you like a flower. He'll bloom for you like a flower because you, he'll start to see, okay, she's listening to me. She's engaging me. She's talking to me about the things that she has going on, the things that I got going on. We having fun together. This might be, she might be a keeper. This is how you get to know. I'm telling y'all what I know. It's not easy because Virgo men are not easy to, to get, but these things will help you. I promise you. Because women who are with me, that's how they got me, you know? So be with him and get to know him. You know, really get to know, I mean, really get to know him. Don't force it. Don't be getting mad at him. Don't be beating down his, you know, beating down his back with all these things. Slow down. Just relax. Because it takes time for him to open up to anybody, not just you. You know, you got to understand that before you came along, he was doing whatever he was doing in life. And he's not going to stop just because you came into his life, just because you're a beautiful woman, just because you have physical assets. He don't care nothing about that because it's, it's a lot of women that got these things. You know, I live in Atlanta. There's women everywhere, you know. But what makes you different? What, do you really care about him, what he has going on? Do you care about his background? Can you sit and talk to him about his fears, his goals, his dreams? You know, are you willing to open up to him, you know? Can you have real conversation? Can you really handle real life situation with him? Can we grow together? This is the thing he want to know. So he know these things by growing with him, getting to know him, you know, being with him. And another thing is kind of, I just said it, um, be his friend. This goal is we're getting to know him. Y'all go out, have a good time. No pressure. Go get some drinks or whatever you may do. Go to the park. Go to a to the movies. Have a good time. When he when you show him how much of a good time you can have, eventually he will. I'm telling you, he will start to like you. Like yo, I can really be myself around her. There's no pressure. She's a really great friend. Now he's starting to look at you like, wow, she makes me happy. I'm just I'm just naturally happy around her. Well, I, I told y'all one time, one girl I was dating um, years ago. Um, she was probably one of the most hilarious girls I ever dated. And she's a cancer, by the way. And she was so funny. And we had the best time together. I mean, it was never a dull moment with her. She made sure we had a great time. It was just a great time with no pressure. We laughing at people. We pointing people out laughing at. We joking on people. You know what I'm saying? Having a great time. And, I, and, I, the thing, and the funny thing is, I didn't even want to date her. 
I had no intention on dating this girl, you know. But one day, with all this fun and loving we was having, you know, I'm talking just like fun time, not like loving, you know, you know. But one day I felt like I was like, whoa, I think I love this girl, you know. So I, got, I can't let it go, you know. So have fun with them, joke around, just just be, be yourself. And the last thing, one of the best ways to be with a Virgo man is to be yourself. Okay, yes, we do have a type. Every man has Virgos like intelligent women, we like smart women, we like classy women. But we also like women to be themselves. Don't fake it. I mean, yeah, you can improve on yourself, no doubt. You know, but one thing we hate is a woman who's faking who they are. Cause he's not faking who he is. You know, don't be like, okay, I'm this type of girl, and then y'all get together, you're not that type of girl. He hates that he will break up with you. He will leave you because it's fake. You know, it's not about trying to be somebody. It's about being who you are. Cause I've dated, I've dated women who they were totally different from the type of woman I date. Cause you know, I, I do like, I like churchy women. I like women who in the church. Cause I grew up in the church, but I dated plenty of women who ain't had nothing to do with the church. Everybody like, yo, you dating her? But it was, it was more so how she made me feel. She was real about who she was. She was authentic. She didn't try to fake it. Yes, she wanted to be who she felt like I wanted. But she gradually got there. She gradually improved on herself in areas that she was lacking. I did the same thing. I improved on myself for her because we we knew each other and we wanted to grow together. All right. So it's going to be a short video, but I just want to let y'all know, do that, man. The best way to get with a Virgo man is listen to him, be his friend, get to know him, talk and communicate, allow him to express himself to you. You express yourself to him. Drop the attitude drop the defenses drop the offenses you know don't beat don't beat don't beat them over the head just talk to him and be with him I'm telling you just be yourself and be natural I'm, and i'm telling y'all without a shadow of a doubt this man will start to fall heavy for you because he feels like okay there's no pressure she's being herself she's allowing me to be myself she's allowing me to have my space the space and the long time i need she's allowing me to have that you know and it's hard to find women who are going to do it because most women get so mad and angry. So, so understand him by talking to him and give him time to respond to you. Give him time to open up to you and you will get him, I'm telling you. So if you need a private session about your situation, hit the link below and schedule your time, whatever time is available on the, on the site, schedule it and we're going to make it happen. Your boy Jay Whitfield Inspires. Y'all be blessed, stay beautiful and uh, we'll holler. Yeah!